Hello, my name is Chris Roser and I'm the author of the book All About Pull Production, which just received the prestigious Single Publication Award. And the book is, as the name says, about pull production. It's also available in German, Spanish and in Portuguese with more languages coming up soon, including Chinese and Italian and French. And it is about pull production. Now, pull production is just like a box of chocolate. You can have never more inventory in your system than you can have Kanban cards, for example. Just like you can have never more chocolate in your box of chocolate than you have slots in the box of chocolate. If you remove one piece, now you have an empty slot. And only now could you add another piece of chocolate. Because you can have never more chocolate than you have slots in the box. So this box of chocolate is basically the same as a pull system. And in your pull system, your inventory is limited. You can have never more inventory than designed for by the number of Kanban cards or Convip cards, as you can have never more chocolate in the box as you have slots in the box. You could remove more than one piece at the same time. And now you have two empty slots, and only now can you add more pieces back in because the number of slots is limited and that's basically a pull system. There are different ways to do pull and you know probably Kanban where each Kanban card represents a number of parts of a certain type and whenever a part leaves the system the Kanban card without, uh, without material tells you make me another piece. So your inventory is limited by the number of Kanban. Now, Kanban is designed for make to stock. You always reproduce the same part. It doesn't work with make to order, but there's also pull systems for make to order. For example, Convip, where one card does not represent a certain type of material, but just says make the next job. So again, like a box of chocolates, you have a certain number of jobs and only if you complete one job only if you complete one job now you can add the next job into the system so that would be a pull system for make to order parts and there are different ways how to do pull you know kanban i just talked about convert for make to order so there's also the reorder point, very well known in purchasing, where you always refill to the same inventory level, which is basically pull. Whenever a part leaves, you refill to the same level. So there's also polka designed for drop shops. So there's drum buffer rope and some more. And all of them will be explained in my book. And also, um, it will, the book will help you to decide which pull system is the right one for you. So now I hope the book helps you in implementing pull. And now excuse me while I will focus a little bit more on studying pull systems.